the odds that LeBron ends up with the Lakers? Uh, before we get there and oh talk God. about oh, that, here we go. I got, 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 got I got, I got LeBron's, LeBron's medical records came uh, in. Okay. So, so uh, <laughs> I'll give you his medical records. Mm -hmm. Just came in off the plane. Yeah. Oh. oh, this <laughs> folder. Oh, yeah. that's very professional. Yes. So, so I want to get through this, and you know I'm not a doctor. Yeah, yeah. we are. No, uh, we know. We no one, I'm no just a lonely confused. adjunct professor. No one was confused. But let that. me get my glasses just to make sure I can read this properly. Okay. Oh my God. So LeBron <laughs> is suffering from an acute case of must stack, stack the deck itis. In other words, LeBron James <laughs> is allergic the deck -itis. to yes. competition. <laughs> First diagnosed uh, was back in 2007 after LeBron was swept by the Spurs in the finals. So I'm going to say this right here and right now. No way, no West is LeBron <laughs> coming out West <laughs> to join the Lakers or the Rockets. He has two options, which is to stay in Cleveland and try to build that team up or to go to Philadelphia and go with those young guys. I do not believe right here, right now, LeBron is coming out west. It would be too much of a hit on his legacy if things don't work out. If you come to L.A. and you get knocked out in the first or second round out west mm -hmm. and you don't even get to the finals, people look at it and go, wait a minute. And then remember this with LeBron. The west with the teams that he, that he has uh, with Golden State and, and Rockets. the Rockets. And just look at this. Spurs. Unless you're coming to the Lakers with some sort of stacked deck, like when he went to Miami with two guys joining him, I can't see him coming to L.A. to try to uh, trust the process and rebuild with a couple of young guys that he hopes going to be there for him. He doesn't have that much time. So I'm not buying all the Laker talk. It sounds good. It sounds sexy. I get it. L.A., LeBron, he has too much to lose. He's better off staying east. And having a chance to come. And I, I would rather, if you're LeBron, take the record and say, I went to the finals 10, 11 times, whether you win or, or, or you don't. But the idea of coming and not even getting to the finals because you went out west. And all he has to do is look at the OKC Thunder. Go look at them. They have three stars. And look at where they are. Look two in a, a piece. All right? But you got three <laughs> stars, Skip. And look at where they are. They're no closer to a championship. They're not winning anything. LeBron would be doing himself and his legacy a disservice mm. if he were to come out west. Mm. Chris. Me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to go. No, I'll let you go. Okay. So, I agree with your premise that LeBron will want to stay in the Eastern Conference. It's just obvious that he would. If, if, in fact, his whole goal is to chase one or two more championships to even make some pathetic, lame case. Stop, getting close Skip. To Michael Jordan. See, you were doing uh, well, so well, good. Why, why would you do it with the Lakers? Why, <coughs> I, I'm with you. But there's a guy named Magic Johnson who thinks he is bigger than LeBron James, and he is now the process of the Lakers. It's all about Magic. And in the USA Today article that we talked about today earlier, in which it was mostly Magic about LeVar Ball mm -hmm. and Lonzo, he talked about how ecstatic he is over his four rookies that he acquired on draft night. Not, not two or three. He got four of them, and he included that Thomas Bryant kid. And I don't know much about him because he hasn't played much, right. but he's a center from Indiana. And so you got Lonzo, obviously, and Kuzma and Josh Hart. These are solid building blocks yeah. for the longer term. Mm -hmm. So there have already been stories, LA Times, ESPN.com, in which – Magic is said to be leaning toward just holding off one more year with his two big free agent max slots until the 2019 class, which would feature, unfortunately for me, Kawhi Leonard, Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, and, and go a little younger because I don't know what Magic would really want with LeBron if, in fact, LeBron's down to one year at a time. So if he says, yeah, I'll play for you guys for one year, but i got to keep my options open for next year. That's building what exactly? You're going to make one big splash with a player who's going to think he's bigger than Magic Johnson, but nobody in Los Angeles in that franchise is bigger than Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure Magic really wants to share the stage for one year with LeBron James. LeBron is the drama king. He brings a whole set of issues. He's a, not just a good. He's an all-time great offensive player who at this stage, as he would go into year number 16, doesn't play a whole lot of defense. And I think they want to build right it. In. 
What's that? She'll fit right in with the Lakers. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not true. Lonzo plays defense. Oh, stop. Very disruptive. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to start. KCP plays defense. KCP I think plays they, defense. Yeah. Okay. I think Le, they – hey, Lonzo Josh played, Hart plays defense. Lonzo plays passing lanes. Mm. He is disruptive. Did you see him block that shot of Vucevic? Oh, my goodness. Would you see it? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.